Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm pretty excited about what I've got to show you here. Uh, these are grow lights, and these are commercial grade grow lights that would go in a warehouse. I'm not a professional grower. In fact, I'm not even growing anything at this point in time, but I like the idea of gardening outside, and I've always wanted to start and try it indoors. So when this company, uh, and Leo Life, reached out to me and asked me to make a review video or an unboxing and installation video because I haven't had a chance to use them, I said, sure. So this is a very high-end grow light. It's LED, and the cool thing about this is it expands out much larger than you're seeing right here on this track. And so what I'm going to do is... Uh, do some installation here real quick, and then we'll talk about the features and benefits of this particular light. Uh, it does have uh, multiple spectrums of light, perfect for growing, so it's going to give you the full spectrum of the sun. Uh, it does come with all the hardware that you need. Let me set this down real quick, nice and gently on some foam. It has hanging wires that go on each end and then an adjustable uh, rope here that can be raised and lowered. And so we're gonna finish doing that here in a second. In addition, we have this driver. This is the LED driver and it's a uh, waterproof IP65. So it doesn't matter if it gets splashed with water. Um, this is the uh, thousand watts. So one end is going to plug into the, uh, the lights here, and this basically has these legs on them so that it will just sit right in the middle. You want it in the middle for balance. And I have it backwards right now, but this plug is gonna plug into the lights themselves. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and finish putting on the hangers. They're real nice and easy to put on. Little uh, screw off or screw down uh, pieces here that slide slide into the tracks. So they just come over here, slide in, loosen it up a little bit, rotate it. So you can have them at whatever distance you want them. So we're just going in about a half an inch on each end and we'll match it up on the other side, which we already have done. And now we have what we're gonna to hang to here. So I just put eye hooks in the ceiling and hung this on there. So we'll do the same with the other. I need to flip this around because I want the outlet on this end. But I'm gonna show you uh, what we've got here. The other thing I failed to mention is that the ballast here, or the driver, LED driver, has settings off, 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%. So you can change the brightness of the LEDs based on the cycle or the time of year that you're emulating for the plants. And so that's a pretty cool feature as well. And so I like that. Keep you from burning up your plants. Again, I'm not an expert in LED lights, but what I can tell here, very nice setup. The top of them has venting to allow the heat to dissipate. It says you don't require any sort of uh, fans or cooling to augment this light, it's gonna stay nice and cool. It's not gonna overheat your room. And also, I wanna say it's 55,000 uh, hours of life on the LEDs. So that's pretty, uh, pretty important because certain types of lights like metal halides and things like that, they degrade over time and you start to lose your spectrums within the bulb uh, color, the Kelvins that are being given off. So because each of these LEDs is set separately to those different settings, um, you shouldn't have that problem. So that's my assumption is, but I, I haven't done it. So we're gonna go ahead and finish hooking this up and then we will uh, show you it when it's plugged in. So these plugs are really nice. They click together real uh, easily. All right, so let's take a little closer look up here just to give you an idea of what we got going on. You can see the little honeycombs. These are the areas that let the heat out. It's kind of like a screen on there. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and raise it up and spread this thing out so you can see the full size of it. So if I get this end, this end, let's see if we can't raise her up. I'm gonna go ahead and take them up as high as I go here. Just to uh, give us space to demo here. Let's go ahead and plug this in. And then we'll talk about how they spread out as well. Woo! That's bright. On here, push these out. One of the things I wanted to mention, I'm hoping I can read this with my without my glasses, but this is, they come in 320, 730, and 1000 watts. And this particular one is 42 inches by 63.8. So 42, 63.8, when you pull them together, 17 by 42. So this is a huge space. Now, the, the uh, instructions here show height of installing it all the way up to 12, 17 and a half, and 23 and a half heights. So this is made for a greenhouse. That means the lighting can be significantly higher and still deliver value to the plants down below. The higher you raise it, it's gonna give you optimal light in a certain area and then kind of degrade out to the sides to some degree. Other things I wanted to kind of point out here. So in this particular one, there are frequency 50 to 60 Hertz. The colors that it's emitting are white 5,000 K, white 3,000 K, and red 660 NM, which is sun-like. And so that's the spectrum. The LED chip is Samsung and F-Star in Seoul Sunlike. 2,604 LEDs in this particular one. And uh, as you can see, this thing is, is quite impressive. Can't wait to uh, start some indoor plants. Probably not gonna happen anytime soon, but I thought it would be good to show you what this looks like. Now, there are uh, ports on the driver to where you can plug in remote uh, dimmers. So I imagine this can be hooked up to controllers and things like that. If it's going to be a greenhouse, there's going to be multiples of them uh, connected together, controlled simultaneously, and this driver appears to have that type of support. So in my instance here, uh, the way I have it right now, I would have to get up there to actually uh, change the, uh, the, the, to turn the light on and off, but obviously you would put something down at the, at the switch. So this is it. Pretty impressive. Uh, at some point in time, I'm sure I'll do a video of uh, me growing some indoor stuff, getting some garden stuff started, something like that. But for now, I just wanted to get a quick unboxing installation video set up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.